Now, I want to bring up an incredible and important, vital record um, in, the, in the history of hip-hop. Uh, this is um, Ice Cube's America's Most Wanted. It's from 1990. It's his first release after uh, he left N.W.A. Um, it's pretty interesting because uh, the album is... Um, he made it with um, the Bomb Squad, who worked, you know, was Public Enemies production crew, and Sir Jinx. Sir Jinx was uh, Dr. Dre's um, cousin, and Sir Jinx, you know, has produced a lot of records. But he was uh, in Ice Cube's first group before uh, NWA called uh, CIA. Um, anyways. So this this record is 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 just crazy. It's got a real um, buck you know bu bugged sound on it because it's these crazy you know textury lush frenetic you know public enemy style bomb squad production with you know Sir Jinx did a lot of this too. Um, with Ice Cube going in, and th you know this is where Cube really goes off, where he's got all the control. He's writing lyrics for himself, um, and man, this was like if you listen to this front to back, you know this is this is really Cube, um, you know, setting us up for like albums that would really really be important. Talking about racism, social injustice, and the injustice system. Uh, you know, uh, talking about, you know, economic inequality, all those, all those like social issues that, you know, NWA didn't really, really get to um, become super prominent on here. Now, again, you know, still misogynist lyrics, still homophobic lyrics, you know, but a lot of the content, you know, about racial profiling, police brutality, um, you know, racism in America come out. And this one cut kind of is like the, the paragon um, of that on this record. It's called Endangered Species, uh, Tales from the Dark Side. And, you know, again, like Ice Cube, one of the greatest, you know, uh, storytellers, uh, rapper storytellers ever. Um, you should have listened to Vince Staples' hand, Hands Up. It's really like a, like, 25 years later, the same shit kind of um, as endangered species, you know, um, you know, in the lyrics and the content. But, you know, uh, I'd ask you to kind of actually look at, you know, a bunch of songs, um, you know, in this complex article that all, all the links are dead. But you, know, you kind of see like the history of, of rap music addressing police brutality. But, um, you know, Ice Cube relates us to a game. There's another track by um, the group. Main source, large professor called the friendly game of baseball, um, which is also about like police um, brutality, where it's like a game, you know, um, you know, um, RBI is a real bad injury, you know, like how you score points, whatever. So, a boy scored. They can give a fuck about us. They rather catch us with guns and white powder. You want a free Africa? I stare at you, cause we ain't got it too good in America. I can't fuck with them overseas. My whole boy died over. Cube kind of like, look, I mean, really whew, going in here on, in so many ways, you know, talking about racial oppression, police brutality, you know, um, in his lyrics here. And it's not as overt in some ways, you know, but, um, you know, uh, we ain't got it too good in America. You know, my homeboy died over keys, you know, talking about like, you know, dying from selling drugs, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean... A point score they give a fuck about us, you know. Um, meaning the police, the political system, the injustice system, etc. It's just a, a vital, vital record here, um, and and it's it's just it really, you know, in West Coast rap, it brought that trend of addressing these issues in that style of in in that music.